Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 42 of my Java video tutorial series. If you didn't watch part 41, watch it now. There's a link above because I'm going to continue to build off the code we created in that part. And underneath the video, all of the code that I have here is available for you to do whatever you want with it. All right, so I'm going to kind of improv through this because it's pretty easy. And this is our lesson 41.java file that we created last time. And here's web.xml, which we created last time. You can't see this. Just view it full screen. It's an HD video. A couple things that keep coming up. Project Explorer, which you see over here. If you don't see that, click on Window and then Show View and then click on Project Explorer. That's all you need to do. And another thing that keeps showing up is you guys want to know how to start your server. All you got to do down here is click on Servers and then click on this Play button right here. And that will restart the server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build an HTML file because what we're going to be doing is passing information from an HTML file to this servlet and then doing calculations, passing all kinds of information. So what are we going to need to do? Well, we need to come over here here where it says web content under project explorer and right click on it then we're going to go new and then we're going to go html file make sure you do this in web content and this guy is going to be called say hello dot html and I'm going to click on finish. All right, so now let's open up, say hello. Well, there it goes. It opened itself up. So I'm going to just basically just go through here and explain what's going on. I'm not going to make that many changes, though. Inside of body, which we're right here, I'm going to create a form. And forms by default in HTML use the get method, but I'm going to use the post method. Not that it's really going to matter if you set up everything right. You can use either one. And then we're going to go action is equal to, and then I'm going to point towards the location of my server which is localhost 8080 forward slash lesson 41 and then forward slash don't forget that forward slash close that off get ourselves some space to start playing around creating our form inside of here first thing I'm gonna say is what's your name and then I'm gonna throw a break statement after that and I'm sure you guys know HTML and then we're just gonna put in input name is equal to your name I'm gonna copy this break statement throw another break statement at the end of that then I'm gonna ask it for a number Might as well just copy all this right here paste that in there I'm gonna call this first num and then we're gonna go second number paste that in there and I'm gonna call this second num and then we're also going to pass a hidden field over to this guy so like that and since it's a hidden field we're gonna go type is equal to hidden and the name is gonna be I'm gonna say language and then let's say that we want to pass over that this is using English just to do something different and then of course the last thing you need to do with a form is go input type is equal to submit and close that off and that's all we need to do with our HTML file. So let's just file save that. And if you get any type of errors, like null values are being passed or something, chances are you forgot this forward slash. So make sure you remember that. Now I'm going to open up web.xml because there's some changes I need to make inside of here. Let's get rid of this so that we can be more standards compliant. And in this situation, we're going to go servlet. And what this file in general does is it states what servlets to deploy and where they are located. That's it. It's not that complicated. So we're going to say what the servlet name is. In this situation, I'm sure you know it's lesson 41. And then after that, we have to define the class for this servlet. So servlet class, and it is hello servlets dot lesson 41. And if you're wondering where that's coming from, if we click on lesson 41, see package right here, hello servlets. So that's where that's all coming from. And then the name of the class itself is lesson 41. Let's jump back over in here again. Now I need to define exactly what the URL location is for this servlet. So servlet mapping and we're going to come up here and it's always better to tab these in here so it's a little bit easy to read and then we're just going to go servlet name again and this is going to be lesson 41 come down here and then url pattern and it just means that what servlet to call whenever a person goes to a certain url which is going to be localhost lesson 41 right like that and there you are you're done with that so now web.xml is fixed now we're going to jump back into lesson 41 and fix this guy up. So we don't really have to change that many different things inside of here. What we are going to do a lot of changes in is going to be in the do get method that we have right here. Remember, this is called whenever the form is using the method get, but also it's going to work if they use host. And I'm actually going to verify that right now. I'm just going to go do post or like this, and I'm just going to go request response. There you go. With that one little addition, now this is going to work for both post requests as well as get requests. 
We'll be able to leave pretty much everything else here exactly the same, except we're going to add a couple new features because we're going to have to process some information. So one thing we're going to process is a string. And so I'm going to create a new string called user's name is equal to. And if you want to get the value for a parameter in a form, all you have to do is type in request.getParameter and then type in the name of that element inside of the form for your HTML page. If we click over here, you're going to see exactly what that is. See? Your name right here. This is what we're getting. So we're going to be able to come in here and just copy this because we're going to grab a couple other things while we're at it. We're also going to grab the language. So I'm just going to go the lang. And then the only thing we need to change here is language. And I'm just playing around here. I thought it would be good to put uppercase letters just so you know that you can use uppercase letters. Then we're getting past numbers. Well, if we want to perform an addition for say, we're going to have to convert those numbers because everything that gets passed to this guy is going to be passed as a string. So if you don't remember, integer, parse, int. And then we're going to do pretty much the same exact thing. And then we're going to have to come in here and type in first num and then put a semicolon at the end. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the value for first num which is a string. It's going to convert it into an integer and then save it into this guy. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing for second num. Integer blah 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 and then this is called second num on the HTML page and there you go. So now you got that. And then let's say we want to go sum o num and we want to just add those two things together. So we'll just go first num plus second num. Right like that. This is how we perform just basic operation for us. Now our response is still going to be an HTML text, so we can leave that exactly as it is. We're still going to need the capability to be able to write out to the browser, just like we did last time, so we're going to leave that exactly the same way. The only thing we're really going to be doing here is changing a couple things right here. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go hello, like that, and then we're going to actually type in the person's name, which is user's name, just like we defined right up here. So that's good. And then we're going to close that off. Try to keep this a little bit neat. Copy this. Paste that on there. And of course, put our double quotes inside of there. And in this situation, I'm going to throw a little break statement inside of there. Double quotes. And then I'm going to go plus first num. I'm going to put a plus sign there. Quotes. And inside of this, I'm going to show the calculation that was made. It'll be like this. And then second num like that. And that'll be the end of that. Output print line. Here I'm going to go equals plus sum o num plus. And I can put my quotes inside of here. Close that off. Throw another break statement inside of it. And then we're also going to say speaks plus the lang, which is going to be the language that the person's going to be speaking in. Plus and close that off right like that. And like I said, this guy right here, if they use a post method, it's automatically going to get shot up here and it's automatically going to do all our work for us. So let's save everything. We look down here, we see the Tomcat's running. Click on say hello, right click on it, and then go open with web browser. It's going to open directly inside of here. And I got an error, of course. Let's just go do get. Sorry about that. That's what happens when I completely improv these guys. So let's kill this. Go right in here. Everything's saved. And now let's run it again. Open with web browser. Name, three, four, submit. And there you see, hello Derek pops up on the screen. Three plus four is equal to seven, and I speak English. Remember, all the code is available underneath. I also have a link underneath the video for you guys to get the opportunity to vote for my next tutorial. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.